hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel dynamic coder okay so today we start on a lab of how to install windows 10 on your evng okay so before we start I, i'll help you out here i'm starting from the big beginning that from where you can download the iso image even from the microsoft website because i got many text that because no one is aware that even from the Microsoft website, they, they got confusion that from where they can install Windows 10 ISO image. Okay, so let's get started. So just first on your Google Chrome. Okay, just type download Windows 10 ISO image. Okay, when you just type like this, this is the first link URL coming in. Okay, HTTPS Microsoft slash software download. Just right click on it and click on inspect. Okay, when you click on inspect, your screen comes like this. Okay, and just select this. Okay, so when you select like this, go here, go to this computer tab, click on it. Okay, so this comes like this. Okay, if it comes like this, select under dimension, select Galaxy Fold. Okay and make the size as 150 okay so here this screen comes like this okay for that just click on software download okay then select windows 10 okay when you select windows 10 it will ask you the edition that so here is a one edition that comes in windows 10 multi edition iso okay confirm just click on confirm and when you confirm it there is another tab coming below it select the product language so just select english okay english united states and confirm it okay this will again take some time okay and this image comes on your screen when this comes up just click on 64 bit download okay so you can see here on my screen that my windows 10 start download it is 5.7 gb and this is the way i can get the iso image okay so i'm posing it because as i already have this image i'll show you that under this option okay so this is the way you can get the windows 10 iso image for your windows server okay now let's start with how you can install it in evng okay so let's go further so here you can see that to install anything on your windows server you have to install win scp so this left hand side is indicating that whatever files you have in your machine okay and machine means that your device or i can say your laptop or your computer wherever it is and the right hand side indicates that where you want what devices on the evng so you can see here that these are the all uh, palo alto device 40 gate firewalls windows 2019 windows server windows 7 machine so these are all i have already uploaded to get the device working on my EVNG. So for Windows 10 also, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to paste whatever I have in my PC into the EVNG, okay? So from scratch, I want to tell you that your, your EVNG looks like this, where you can see above it, which is slash root directory, okay? And this looks like this, okay? And the left hand side indicates that where is your file? So my Windows 10 machine is under d drive windows 7 ultimate folder okay where the name should be the same as win hyphen 10 ent is enterprise if you don't want to add ent is okay but this name convention should be the same okay all are lowercase there is a hyphen there is no space and windows 10 okay on the right hand side what i'm going to do is when you are under root then you have to go to slash opt so click on opt then here you can see unit lab you are under unit lab directory then add-ons you are under add-ons directory then qemu directory okay and where you have to paste your windows 10 so i am pasting i am dragging and drop or else what you do is just right click copy and here right click and paste okay so this is the way you can paste your 
okay click on okay so this takes some time because the file is of 5 gb something like that okay so i'm pausing the video okay so here you can see that my windows 10 has been from the left hand side to the right hand side okay and i double click here you can see that this is the iso image name okay when i when i click on the right hand side you can see the same name just right click on this and rename okay rename is cd rom dot iso okay so this is the name convention you can see it also here i have all the documentation of evng okay so we are under this that we have there are two options either you can use all the cli commands to do it and you have gui also so i find gui easy that's why i make this video on gui okay now we have renamed to cdrom.iso now this is the next thing we have to do so this command is about the hard drive we have to provide to our windows machine okay we go to our evng okay here you have to go to cd then you have to go to that folder opt slash unit lab slash qemu slash sorry add-ons slash qemu slash win 10 ent okay so this is the folder name that we have created correct click on go to win scp again we check once again opt unit lab add-ons qemu windows hyphen 10 ent is capital okay so we gave the same name okay so you can see here that we are under that exact folder now the next step is that we have to type the 60 gb hard drive so for that we go here and then we follow the same step as we have to type the lower case so slash opt slash bin slash qemu hyphen image okay space create okay slash opt qemu slash bin slash qemu image okay space create space f hyphen f space qcow2 okay space virtioa dot qcow2 correct space 60 gb g is capital okay click on enter okay so when you press enter you can see that you get this come output that formatting your drive now you go to your windows machine i just disable delete it okay i just take the new one so i go to windows okay here i select windows 10 save okay now connect save press start okay double click open this will take some time so i'm just pausing the video okay so this is loading now okay so your setup is starting now windows setup united state the language click on next click on install now this will take some time okay so you can see here it asking for the product key we don't have product key click on i don't have product key select windows 10 pro click on next accept the terms and conditions click on custom load driver click on browse click on floppy disk drive b okay click on storage click on 2003 r2 select amd64 press ok so you can see here your red hat you get the storage of 60 db just click on next this will take some time to load
okay so you can see here that you get the size of 60 gb now if you want to make a partitions it's all up to you i'm just keeping it as default click on next Okay, so now you can see that your setup is starting now. This will take some time, so I'm pausing the video till the time it gets completed. Okay, so after the Windows machine come up, okay, you can see here that it asks for the certain settings. Okay, so region we select United States. Now wait for a moment. Okay, then the keyboard layout we select as US. Skip. Okay, click on skip. Now it asks for the important settings to do. Okay, so this is all the settings come up okay because it's all connecting with the network so you can see here that my topology i connected to the internet using the management cloud so i go to network and i select management cloud to get the uh, my wi-fi which is my pc connected to and i'll get the same internet okay so this asked me to wait okay so now you it gives us the two options so i'm just selecting my personal use okay i click on next let's wait for a while okay now i select offline account Con next Okay, when you select offline account, it asks you to wait for a moment. Okay, now click on next. I select as offline account. Click on limited experience. So this is all the Windows setting which you can do day to day. I'll select as W1 as Windows 1. Click on next. No password. Click on next. Okay. Click on accept. skip not now okay so now your windows has been installed this will take some time so this is all windows setting which it will done by default so just keep it as it is 
okay so you can see that your window screen come up okay and you can see that you have the internet just click on yes okay you can see that you have the internet working now I just advise to just uh, shut down your machine because there are certain uh, commands which we have to work on our EVNG okay so let's let's do it okay so I just shut down my windows machine I just came here and I'll stop it okay so the windows will also going to stop okay now go to EVNG okay and here on the on the document side you can also see here there are certain commands like there are two commands which we have to do where we have to add the lab ID okay in this particular command okay for that okay so what I'll first going to do is I'll copy this command okay I'll control C and I'll paste it to the wordpad okay now go to your your EVNG go to your lab details here you can find your ID okay control C paste it to your notepad okay now what we are going to do is uh, there are certain requirements we need as in you can see here there are you can see here the zero which indicates POD number and the last one is the node ID so how you will get these details I will show you in EVNG okay so when you go to your EVNG just go to your status okay when you click on status you can see the POD number okay so the POD number is zero we get that just click on your windows machine and right click above win bracket one so one is your node number okay so open your this correct now scroll it little up so that we can type the same command so now we have to type this particular command so I open my EVNG okay and I already wrote it okay so here I made a mistake that it's unit lab I made a mistake as OPT and all this just say cd slash opt slash tamp and this is my uh, the last one is my id so i enter the id 05 is the last one and c4 is the starting one correct and i press enter okay so when i press enter you can see that i am into this direct so this is the final command till then when then this we have to complete okay so we are done with it and uh, we just go to our evng and we just start the machine so I open the ultra VNC okay this will take some time and our windows machine is work will work as normal okay so these are the steps which we have to follow okay so as you can see that the w1 profile that we have created in the windows machine has come up and is is working now okay so this is where the installation is done for our windows 10 in evng okay thanks for watching